In this tutorial, I will show you how to convert an image into a 2D point cloud and how to import it in a project. First of all, you have to create a new project or open an existing project. It can be a blank project. Then go to the Import tab and select Convert Image to XYZ. Select your image. So here I'm going to select the logo of OpenScan Tools, which is a PNG file. So here's the image and it has a transparent background. Then you have different options for the transparent points. You can choose to ignore them or to convert them into a black or white color. You can also choose an orientation, set an origin for your image and also the length and then convert. Okay, it's done. And here I have my XYZ or ASCII file that I can use in any point cloud software. Now let's import this file. I go to the point cloud object section. I choose import from file. I select my file and then I have different methods to place uh, the model and I'm going to keep place the model manually, which means that I will have to click where I want to place uh, my image. OK, apply all, validate. And now I'm just going to click somewhere in the point cloud. And here you can see my image that has been imported as a 2D point cloud. I can move it, rotate it, also extrude it. I can also change its scale. And it's an easy way to bring your logo in a, in a project in order to sign, uh, to sign it, for example. OK, now let's import a more uh, complex image. I'm going back to convert image. And now I'm going to choose this image here. I want it to be vertical. And uh, let's set two meters and now convert. OK, and now let's import this image. OK, apply, validate and click. OK, here I have my image and uh, I just have to rotate it. Uh, it's a 90 degree rotation. OK, now it's correct. So it was a quite high definition image. And you can see that it is still a pure point cloud. I can also change its scale. 2 for X and 2 for Z. OK. And if you want to uh, change some settings, you have to go to the Home tab and uh, change the saturation, the luminance, and if uh, the image appears too flat, uh, you can also decrease the normals. And I am sure that you will find use cases for this feature. 